hi you guys welcome to today's video welcome to my channel if you are new here if you're not welcome back i'm doing a full-on maintenance routine today i'm talking dyeing my hair mani pedi getting my brows laminated eyelash extensions the whole nine and i'm also sharing my updated skincare routine in this video it's been a hot minute okay since i've done a skincare routine and since i've showed you my whole glow up process so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm gonna bring y'all along this is a vlog style video and it's pretty chatty and thorough that's just how i like to do my vlog so just a little heads up just in case you are stumbling across this video that's just kind of how i like to do things around here but i am so excited to share all the things with you that i've been using as of lately to get myself to this point right here so i hope you guys are excited for this video let's go ahead and get started i know <laughs> hi you guys welcome to today's vlog i'm vlogging today i finally have some vlog worthy stuff going on i have a maintenance day today i'm doing all the things i have the window open so you can hear all the noise but i'm doing a full maintenance day today later on this week i'm actually traveling to new york i haven't been back to new york in a few years um so i'm excited to be going this weekend so that's why I'm doing all this stuff this week. I haven't had lash extensions in a while and I miss them, I can't lie. I know right now everybody's on like the no lashes look, but listen, I need me some lash extensions. I'm taking my vitamins right now, by the way. All right, let's go. I haven't worn my hair in a bun like this in a long time and I don't know how I feel about it. Not loving it looks very excessive right now we are gonna stop by Starbucks because it wouldn't be a maintenance self-care day without Starbucks like what hi what can I get started you today hi can I do a grande ice blonde vanilla latte grande ice blonde vanilla latte okay and that's gonna be with only two pumps of syrup okay caramel drizzle and extra ice okay we go and then I'll also do your spinach and feta egg white wrap. Okay. And an order of your egg white bites. And egg white bites, okay. Yes. Actually, you know what? No, sorry. I'll do an oatmeal instead of the egg white bites. Okay. That's it. Can I have Thank you. Thank you. I made it to Starbucks. <clears throat> My voice is like giving out. Our first stop is pretty much a one-stop shop. I am doing my brow lamination, my lash extensions, and my mani-pedi there. Because they kind of do it all. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Um, can I get a straw as well, please? Oh, do you have agave? Agave? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Ooh. Okay. I've only done brow lamination, I think twice. I've never done it here. I've only done my lashes and then my mani pedi here at top line. So I'm going to try doing the brow lamination and waxing, see how it goes. Hopefully I don't come out looking nuts because, again, I've never tried it. And lamination, I feel like it's very hit or miss. I want my lamination to look very subtle and natural. I don't want it to look like my my brows are like spiky and like up. I mean, to a certain extent. I'm doing the brow lamination with the same girl that does my lashes and she does a really good job of my lashes so I'm just gonna tell her like hey her name is uh Julie if I'm not mistaken I've only gone to her once before once or twice before and then before her I went to someone named Ashley but she doesn't work there anymore and then for my Manny or for my Phil I should say uh, I go with Tracy freaking love Tracy she does an amazing 
everything drop with the shape and everything. Today I'm gonna try to go shorter. Just like a baby pink. I love it. Yep. Feeling good. I will say day one of brow lamination is not my favorite. And day one of lashes is actually not my favorite. I think for me, I like how they look after maybe day three or four. Like one weekend is like the sweet spot because a few lashes have fallen out. And then the brows are not as like spiky looking, but I am gonna brush these down just a little cause I don't want them sticking up. I want them to be, ooh, my eyes. More like that. See the difference? You can kinda see. I just like them to be more down see how like like sometimes when you come out from doing lamination they look like this and that's not my preference I like them to look like this so I just kind of go through and shape them how I want them to stay and I normally don't do a cat eye because I notice that they tend to make the outside of my eyes look really droopy and I'm, I don't love that but the way she does them after a few days they look really good so I just kind of dug it out the first few days I showed her this photo for inspo I'll show you both photos for my brows in case you want a screenshot but my eyebrows are darker so it's gonna look different where the lashes I showed her this lash map which is from their Instagram page that one there so it's a little fuller at the ends and that's kind of what this is looking like so she did a good job so now we'll just make our way back to the area i need to go to sally beauty to get that hair dye and i think that's it for today we're gonna go home get this hair dyed whiten our teeth and i'm gonna show y'all my updated skincare i think i'm gonna show you both my night skincare and my daytime skincare that way you can see what i've been using on my skin made it back home and i did end up going to sally beauty and i found the hair dye that we did to get and i found some other stuff too i got a new hairbrush just for my slick back ponytails and then believe it or not i've never tried bio silk so i got a small size of their silk therapy and the hair dye that i got is this one my lashes look so dark i haven't had them so i feel like they look really crazy but i'm gonna do my makeup i think tomorrow and show you guys the final glow up if you will <laughs> but uh okay i got the age zotos professional age beautiful hair dye in 1N, which is the darkest I think that they have. It's this one. I've heard really, really good things about this. I usually use the Garnier hair dye or the um, Ion brand at Sally's, but I wanted to try this one because I've heard nothing but good things. So that's what I got. And I did also purchase their uh, developer. I just got volume 10 developer so that it adds the 
color. So we're gonna do this tonight. We're about to get it together. This doesn't look bad, but this, and my hair honestly looks dark already, but it is not dark like this is the hair dye I just got. My hair in the sun looks red, like a reddish brown, and I do not like that. I hate when my hair has a reddish hint to it. So we are gonna get that together. And again, right here, it looks dark as it is. It's probably not gonna be a big difference once I put this on, rinse it out, and redo my hair, but I'm gonna be able to tell, especially in the sun. Like, for some reason, ever since I was younger, the hair right here, and right here is almost like a light brown caramel and it's cute but we don't want that right now i did trim my hair yesterday i didn't vlog it but basically i just put my hair into a ponytail and then i put hair ties like that and then i just cut the end very blunt i want to slowly transition back into more of a blunt cut right now i have a lot of layers because i had the curtain bangs and stuff and they're still there but i kind of used the shears to shear the the bangs into the rest of my hair because they felt a little thick and they weren't blending with the rest of my layers whereas now you can see i mean my hair looks nuts right now but you can see my bangs actually blend into the rest of my layers before it was like a blunt cut and it was like all thick but i put on a black shirt this is my go-to hair dyeing shirt and with this hair dye you do have to mix in the developer and it's one to one ratio so two ounces of this two ounces of the 10 volume developer. Actually, I'm doing the full four ounces and I'll put two of the hair dyes in there since these are only two fluid ounces. I just remembered I bought a new hair tool and I'm excited to use it. I'll use it tonight, actually, since I'm doing my hair tonight. Here we are, fresh out of the shower. I am going to put in a hair mask now, and some of the hair dye is not coming off so i'm just gonna have to wait until it comes off on its own but now i'm gonna put in this tgin honey miracle hair mask it has raw honey and olive oil and then after this i will go in and do some skincare but i'm gonna literally drench my hair in this this mask is so freaking good I have a microwavable heating cap, so I'm going to put this on. And in the shower, I wash my face with the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, which is this one here. So now I can jump into my other skincare. Before I do that, I do want to do a mask. This is the Innisfree, is that how you pronounce it? It's this brand. I am going to apply this mostly around my cheeks. I noticed that whenever I have a breakout coming, this will make the breakout come up. Like if it's under the skin or something, it'll make it come out and then that way you can extract it if you want or you can just kind of let it heal on its own. But I, that's what I really like about it. And it's perfect because I'm doing this a few days before my trip. So it's going to give my t my skin time to kind of do what it needs to do before going on the trips. We look really cute right now. <laughs> but I promise you, tomorrow when you see it all come together, it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense. 
in the meantime while this is doing what it needs to do i'm going to put on my deodorant this is new this is the cashmere mist the deodorant is what it's called well you guys will see a close-up but this is aluminum free and alcohol free they do have one that has aluminum i believe but i opted for the aluminum free just to see if it'll do anything and i've been using this the past few days i really like it and i was so surprised because i picked this up on a whim without reading reviews or anything and i tried it and i really liked it and then i went on to read the reviews and it has mixed reviews i was like what if i would have read the reviews before purchasing i probably wouldn't have purchased it because i was like ooh, like i think it has like two or three stars and so that would have drew me away but trying it before reading the reviews i was like wait a minute so i'm gonna keep using it um the one that has aluminum had better reviews i will say the the scent of this is strong so maybe that's what kind of pushed people away but it smells like a strong baby powder smell some people are saying it kind of smells like old lady or like very mature but i i like the smell it smells very clean and light and the smell the scent lasts all day long to do my hair so that is what we are doing i already did this side and i used this this is all over tiktok at least my tiktok for you page it does not get as hot as i would like but it still gives results i, I did this half of my hair with it and this side i did the front but let me show you pretty much how I do it and I'm this is my first time using it so I'm still trying to get the hang of it I don't know if I love it so far but it's kind of doing the trick get a piece of hair and I just drag this down and it's not a blow dryer obviously there's no noise it's like a blow dry brush that heats up without all the crazy loud noise if there's one out there that has heat temperature control where right, you can make it hotter or you can make it hotter or colder let me know because not hotter or colder hotter because this one it just has an on switch and the heat that you get is the heat that you get like you cannot raise it or lower it and i, I need to crank it up a little bit i can't even lie All the stuff I'm mentioning in this video will be in my storefront, by the way. Which I'm actually gonna have to link next week because I'm working with a company that has certain exclusivity, meaning they don't want, and this is actually great, very common when you're doing brand partnerships. Sometimes we're not allowed to post about certain brands that are competitors to whatever brand is sponsoring us for a certain period of time and that's called exclusivity so like let's talk cars let's say honda sponsoring you they might say okay well for a week before and after your content goes live you cannot talk about toyota range rover 
uh, XYZ in the third, and that's called exclusivity. So I can't link some of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video, but I will link it once that exclusivity period is over next week. Um, I'll link it under this video. Um, or I'll, like if you ask me in the comments, I'll link it in case, but um, my storefront is always linked like in my Instagram and stuff anyway. And in my other videos in case you're like, what is the link to this? <laughs> I'm not gatekeeping guys, I promise. I mean, it's like a loose bend, I would say. My dumb self, uh, even though I wore gloves to dye my hair, obviously the dye is still gonna stain. So my nails look gray now. You probably can't tell on here, but my nails are gray. So I'm gonna have to get a polish change tomorrow, which is like not fun. I don't wanna have to go do that, but I'm not walking around here with gray nails. Like, <laughs> please. It's the next morning. I put a little makeup on and I'm about to do my hair. Final verdict on this, in my opinion, if you have really thick hair and you have a lot of hair like I do and your hair isn't the type of hair to hold curl really well, I would say this might not, this might not be a love. I can't lie. Uh, it's good for something like this like very fluffy hair or if you have maybe thinner lighter hair but my hair is very heavy i have a lot of freaking hair and my hair is thick so i feel like i need something more like it needs more heat that's the thing for me i'm just gonna go in with my regular stuff which i think i want to use my curling iron today not my air wrap to this point right here i hope that you enjoyed the video and of course all the things will be linked down below the skincare the hair dye all of it so make sure to check that out thank y'all for tuning in i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video